Thanks for joining us back from our break. This is Christina Griffin and Stella Guticelli is our co-host today. Jamie is away at the Coldwell Banker National Convention in LA. He's having a lot of fun. I, we, I guess you, you were supposed to go there, right? I was. Okay. Uh, I'm nine months pregnant, so needless to say, I wasn't able to travel this late in my pregnancy. So we are covering for Jamie, and um, we really appreciate you tuning in. And uh, we have Bud Spriggs in the uh, in the showroom and John Mitros, his natural renovation manager at Movement Mortgage. Bud is an expert contributor for the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show. He's an experienced loan officer with Movement Mortgage and a senior mortgage consultant. Today, we're going to talk about home path financing and how it's going to impact our industry with the options going away. Hey, Bud, how are you today? Good, Christina. How are you? Oh, you know. <laughs> I, you know, I could never tell. I would have never known that oh, you're nine months pregnant. <laughs> Looking good. I appreciate it. Thanks, Bud. Um, so, I've worked with Fannie Mae and home path financing for gosh, almost 10 years, I feel. And I'm really concerned on how it's going to affect at least my market in mm -hmm. the South Tampa community. We have so many condos that are starting to rebound because of the home path financing and put owner occupants into them. Right. So just curious on your take on how you feel it's going to affect our community and you know, if there's any options for any real estate agents right well, now. There's options. And, you know, overall, I'm not overly concerned. Now, on the condo side, you know, the one thing that we could get, do with condos on the home path was we didn't go need to go through the full condo approval mm -hmm. when somebody was coming out with 5% down. Okay. But condo loans in general, MI, all that, have, have loosened up in the last few months where, you know, before it was 20, 25 percent down, that was going to be the way it was. So right? could, could you explain for the audience uh, what is the home path uh, home uh, financing? Well, the home path financing option basically oh, was a customer mm -hmm. could get into a property, number one, without an appraisal. So you took that equation out. That, that was the biggie to me. The other part was you didn't need mortgage insurance. But what mm -hmm. people didn't understand was basically the the home path the rates were a little, you were paying for it one way or the other. And I kept, I, I would try to put that in them so they could at least have a few options and, and make a, a good decision. To me, the home path, the straight home path loan, the biggest feature of that was no appraisal was needed. Okay. So that was one thing you didn't have to worry about. And then the 5% down, and right? And 5% down. 5% down. Yeah. But we've got the 5% down on conventional and three and a half with, with FHA. Mm -hmm. And right? you didn't have to get the condo approved. The, that, the con was, that was the big one for sellers. That was the big mm -hmm. one on the condo side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, as you know, a lot of home path homes, uh, you know, some of them need a little work. And mm -hmm. so people would automatically say, hey, we want to go with the, the home path and renovation loan. Mm -hmm. You know, at Movement, we offer... All up until today, we offered all three of the major renovation products. We offered the 203K, the conventional, what's called the home style, and the home path renovation loan. Well, the big thing with the home path renovation loan was the straight loan, again, was no appraisal. With home path renovation, you needed to throw the appraisal. The appraisal came back into the equation. So you didn't necessarily take a home path home to a home path renovation loan anyway. Yeah. You wanted to throw the other options out there. Absolutely. Well, in, in your opinion, though, on a home path type renovation loan, another product <clears throat> that may come into play for that, what type of closing dates should realtors obtain with their clients? Well, that's nice that you yeah. bring that up. And just coincidentally, yeah. <laughs> today we had our, we flew our uh, national renovation manager, Johnny Mitros, down to do some talking, to educate some realtors, because realtors need to know about this product. Absolutely. There's all kinds of different things and different ways they can use this product, and they're not. And uh, with that, you know, I thought, what a great way and what a great time to bring him in. So if you don't mind, I'd like to introduce Absolutely. him. Absolutely. And let him talk a little bit about the uh, the options that are out there. Is that Absolutely. all right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Thanks Glad for joining us. Glad to be here us. in Tampa. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me. Um. Any tips you could give realtors on now that home path renovation is going away? Uh, as of today, you have to have an executed contract from Fannie Mae in order to even proceed with home path financing. Mm. 
what do you recommend for realtors that are looking for home path options, type options for their clients? Well, uh, Fannie Mae prior to actually having the home path program, the majority of the loans that we did uh, for any REOs per se, which obviously all the things, excuse me, homes or properties on the website are REO properties. Um, the home style program is Fannie Mae's other option. It's, it's home style. Okay. I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, and a lot haven't, believe it or not. I actually had uh, somebody make an offer on a property with a home path logo on it, decided to go home style instead because okay. of a better interest rate. A listing agent, and this was a, a different state, wasn't here, but that listing agent, when he saw my pre-approval and it said the financing was subject to home style, not only did the listing agent not know about the home style program, but the uh, property manager at Fannie Mae didn't know what it was, and I had to explain it to them before they accepted his offer. Wow. Okay. Uh, and then when he realized that the home style, excuse me, home path was going away, I happened to be doing some training on the West Coast. This was about a week ago. Uh, he said, John, when you get back to New Jersey, um, please come see me right away because we need to talk. So there is a, a big lack of education, and I think one of the reasons is that there aren't that many lenders that actually are approved through Fannie Mae to do the home style program. Home style program. Right, versus the um, the home path, which there was an association with certain lenders um, and Fannie Mae immediately, and usually it was the larger banks. I look forward to finding out more information about that program when we come back from a short break. Again, you're listening to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show. Please join us after the break. Um, please check out Jamie's website at tampabayradio.com. And if you'd like to contact Jamie, please contact him at jamie at tampabayradio.com. And we look forward to you joining us when we come back. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, uh, again, that was Malcolm Tennant, um, and he was talking to us regarding reverse mortgages. We're going to pick up with John Mitros. Um, he's the National Renovation Manager at Movement Mortgage, and he was just sharing with us with some products that can help realtors and buyers that are concerned with HomePath product going away. And what was the product you were sharing with us before you left? Before we left the for break? Fannie Mae product that they have for uh, REO properties and for basically any property in the MLS is the Home Style program. Can you tell us about that? Because sure. I will tell you, I've been selling real estate for over 10 years and never heard of that one. Well, what home style is, it's, I call it the, the baby sister of the FHA 203K because most realtors um, that have been in the business for a while, unfortunately, uh, if you look at me, an older kind of veteran, I started doing 203Ks over 25 years ago. That was the original product that was put out by FHA, which allows uh, a buyer to purchase a home in less than ideal condition. And typically that was REOs. So when I started my business, uh, my uh, referral base was almost 100% REO agents. And as time progressed and housing stocks aged uh, and they got older, um, the market actually has increased. So now we are seeing more and more buyers use both products, the FHA and the conventional product for the uh, purchase, which is an acquisition of a home. And they're being able to not only finance the purchase, but also any repairs or modernization to upgrade the home to make it pretty much the way that they want it their dream home all at one time with one closing and uh, you know in one mortgage and that's really the way it works it's kind of like an a plus b is there a certain loan to value with that program um, fha goes up to 96.5 percent so it's only three and a half percent down how about the home style home style is five percent five percent very similar to the uh, comparable products that they have that are non-renovation so um, there's no overlay if you want to call it or a real major change in the guideline for the uh, approval as far as credit scores, as far as debt to income ratios, everything's really the same. You're just getting uh, the big plus or advantage of getting either it's a modernization of dated or okay. required repairs, which would be an issue maybe on an REO that has distress. And do you have to have an appraisal for that? Product? Yes, you do always have to have an appraisal. Also, the benefit though is the appraisal is done not in the as is condition, which is what people are usually seeing, your regular mortgages, FHA and conventional, appraise the house in its as is condition and gives you an as is value. Mm -hmm. Both renovation products give you the after improved value, which is a higher number, nine out of 10 times. Okay. So we're actually lending on the future value of the home after you've already uh, made the improvements, but we're actually doing that before you've made the improvements. So you're taking advantage of future equity 
at the time of the purchase. And that's where the magic comes in, where we can lend an extra 10, 20, 30, whatever it is, $1,000 on top of the purchase price. Wonderful. But do you um, also handle those types of loans? Can people call you directly to get approved? Yes, they can. That's why, I, that's why I know Johnny so well and had him come down here. <laughs> awesome. But, uh, can you share your information just um, for everybody? They can get a hold of me at 727-798-3888 or budsprigs.com. Fly online. Okay, and before we go to break real quick, I'd like to know, um, are there any products at all for the condos? <clears throat> We've got the, the regular conventional, okay. up the 95% financing right now. That's that's kind of a recent thing. Back a few months ago, my companies were staying away from condos, especially in Florida. So we can go up to 95% on a uh, owner-occupied condo, getting the condo approval. What if the condo's not approved? Are there any options for... If the condo's not approved, we'll probably take them to a what we call a portfolio product. Okay. Non-warrantable condos. There's going to be a lot of different reasons. There's a lot of those that we yeah, work with. Down here there is. And, you know, the customer's got to be strong because we're loaning... At, at that point, we're actually making the loan to the customer on the customer, not so much on the on the property and okay. what we're using for the collateral. And what kind of loan to value is that? Quite a bit. Just think, think 65 percent loan, like to a value. hard money type loan, except better rates. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, realtors, at least there's some options out there for you. We're going to have to um, take a quick break. We really appreciate you joining us at the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show. And again, please check out TampaBayRadio.com for more information. Um, we look forward to you joining us when we come back from the break, and um, we'll talk to you soon. You're listening to the Jamie Maloney Real Estate Show with local expert Jamie Maloney. Now, here's Jamie. Thank you for joining us back from the break. This is Christina Griffin and Stella Guticelli, which is our co-host. Jamie Maloney is away at the National Coldwell Banker Convention, which I really wish I could be there right now, but we are hosting his show for him, and uh, we have got Bud Spriggs and um, John Mitros with Movement Mortgage in the um, studio. And John just wanted to share some tips with everyone and Bud regarding the appraisal issues that a lot of, I know myself as a realtor and many of you are experiencing um, that if you open your mind to a few different product options that may be able to help your client and you to be able to close the deal. Absolutely. Um, right before the break, I was mentioning how we use the after improved value uh, with the renovation loans. The FHA 203K has a very specific benefit when it comes to the appraised value. FHA allows us to use actually 110% of that after improved value before doing the mortgage calculation, which is lending the 96 and a half percent. Wonderful. Um, so we do get a 10% buffer, um, or if you'd like to call it insurance policy. Of course, that is only on a 203K. It's not on a regular FHA. So uh, it's very often the buyer that's looking at the house is thinking of doing either some major or at least some minor renovations to a house, whether it's minor upgrading of kitchens and baths, anything like that. They're literally putting down a few dollars more at the closing. I'll give you an idea, you can get up to almost $20,000 on a $200,000 purchase of, it's not free renovations, but it, that's within that buffer. So a home uh, sold for 200,000 that might need um, 10 to $15,000 in renovation does not have to appraise for 210, 215, 220. It can actually still appraise for only $200,000. That extra 10% makes it affordable and or would take care of a situation if the appraisal came in low. Okay, That's but if, interesting. Yeah, it's very I, interesting. I just had a deal like that fall through because I I guess the mortgage company didn't know how to properly structure it. That so is possible. It, working with experts is really important. It's all about the players with from the referring agent, the realtor, the mortgage exactly. company, the closing agent. Everybody has to be in good hands. It, exactly. Um, I want to mention real quick that, uh, again, today is the last day you have to have a fully executed contract in order to obtain home path financing, and they must close before March 31st of next year. So it's very important to get your financing in line and have some different options for your clients. So uh, the renovation 
product that John Mitro spoke about, um, I, I'd like to find out, um, does this product work on any of the condos um, or is it just single family dwellings? The, the, yeah, the um, FHA does if it's FHA approved okay. and the um, home style would again, but unlike the home path renovation, we do have to do a renovation survey, excuse me, a condo cert. A condo now, service. we do have at Movement Mortgage an in-house condo uh, program and department. So things that are currently not approved can be approved in-house through our condo department, which is completely separate, such as I take care of renovation. We have a special department nationally that approves condo developments in every state that we're in, about 38 states. And um, that gets taken care of very often. So certain markets, um, some realtors are having us pre-approve the entire development up front. I actually got a referral Again, I originate mostly in New Jersey when I'm back home. Um, a loan that went 60 days a week before closing, they told her that the woman, she couldn't close on a condo, um, but they remembered at the management agency that Movement had done one, not through me, but another loan officer, and I was able to close it. No one else, when I'm gonna say nobody, but a lot of banks would not close that loan, but they were on our approved list. So there how are possibilities. How quick there. does it take to get a property approved? Um, on the condo side, I would say probably about Three weeks, two weeks. Yeah. I actually had somebody, um, somebody just sent in. They were. It was a listing agent wanted to see if we could get the condo approved before she started marketing it. We turned in all the information, HOA information, and got it actually cleared in about a week. Wow, great. Yeah, mm. that's smooth, but still, that's nice. So I could send you a list of my listings, and uh, you could get them approved for us, so we can it, market Christina. it. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. You hear that, Jamie, out there in LA? <laughs> we're gonna get those over to Bud and. Uh, have some great new products available for our clients. Again, um, I appreciate John Mitros and Bud uh, Spriggs from joining us for Movement Mortgage. Uh, Bud, just one more time for the audience, can you just let them know how they could get a hold of you? You reach me at 727-798-3888 or go to budspriggs.com. All right, thank you again for joining us in the studio.